Welcome to the Bronx Journal. I'm your guest host, Asad Masri. Ever wonder what it's like inside Yankee Clubhouse? What goes on before the first pitch and after the last out? Our next guest will give us an inside look on the inner workings of the Yankees organization. Joseph Lee is a crew member of the Yankees Clubhouse. Welcome to the show, Joe. Thank you. Thank so, you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for coming. So, uh, first and foremost, can you tell me how you got started with the Yankees? Sure. Fifteen years ago, uh, fifteen seasons ago, 1995, um, I had gotten a call from a gentleman who was the mm -hmm. head equipment manager at the time for the Yankees, and he had known my dad, and um, my dad used to work with the New York Jets, and football Jets, uh -huh. uh, for a long, long time, and uh, they were friends. And there had been a spot open uh, to be a bat boy on the field uh, in the old stadium. And he had called me up and said, if you'd like to come and work for the summer, you could have this, you know, you know it's a part-time job, and you be the bat boy for the Yankees. Okay. And there were three of us at the time, three bat boys that worked. Mm -hmm. And so naturally I said, sure, that sounds like a good job for the summer. And um, that's how I got in there. And, uh, that's how it all started, huh? That's how it started. Nice. So you worked there since you were 16 years old, roughly? 16 years old. Um, you know, I was a sophomore in high school and uh, started that April. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just after the strike. There was a strike in 1994, okay. and it was shortened season, so this was right after the strike. And, uh, so from what you, what you did at that point till mm -hmm. right now, how has your job description changed? Well, I worked on the field as a bat boy for the for 1995, 96, and 97, um, and did the roles of what a bat boy does: work with the umpires, work right. on the field during batting practice, things of that nature. And then, in after the 1997 season, mm -hmm. um, the head equipment manager was no longer there, okay. who brought me in, and his assistant became. He was appointed the head equipment manager, and he came to me and said. You know, how would you like to come off the field and, you know, work with us inside the clubhouse for the entire day? I mean, as a bat boy, you work inside the clubhouse right. also, but this was going to be, you know, but that was the end of me on the field in the uniform. Players, right. Yeah, that was the end of me in uniform. Gotcha. And um, so then we worked in, I worked inside and right. have been there ever since. So when you, when you started, you know, working in the clubhouse, exactly, you know, how did your jo job description change? What, what do you do different now? Uh, differences now are, you know, as a bat boy, you came in and, you know, I came right from school mm -hmm. um, and you would get in uniform and go out to batting practice and shag fly balls and have the dugout set up um, with Gatorade, water, towels, whatever they right. need um, for, for batting practice. And then after batting practice, you would have to clean up all their shoes and, you know, straighten up uh, and set up the dugout for the game. And then during the game, you would work on the field in the dugout, um, you know, getting bats, giving balls to the umpire, warming up the outfielders, playing catch with them in between innings. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the duties of a bat boy. When I came inside uh, and worked as what we call an in guy, you know, there's field guys and there's in guys. Right. Now I'm an in guy. Gotcha. Um, you know, your duties, you know, they're baseball oriented. It's um, from doing the laundry now. I mean, right. in between, you know, batting practice, there's laundry. After the game, there's laundry. Uh, picking up the food for the players. We feed them three times a day. Someone has to go out and pick up the food, order the food. So you're actually washing uniforms. You're wash the uniforms wow. every day, hang them, sort them. Um, there's a lot of laundry. Wow. Um, and basically, you know, anything All that's the dirty needed. Work, huh? Yeah, and yeah. basically anything that's needed in preparation for a game. Uh, you're responsible for making sure that you know that their uniform is clean. If there's you know no, if there's a hole in it, we have to repair it. We send it to you know Neurochelle to be repaired. Uh, what do you do? How do they repair their uniforms? Like uh, well, sometimes they're patched up, they're sewn up, or if um, if if a guy likes his, the way it fits, he wants the same uniform, so we'll patch it up. I see. If not, we'll just give him a new uniform. I see. But most of the time, they get comfortable in one. They they like it patched up. Um, but you do anything you really, you know, anything that the players need in preparation for a game, that's what you do. You're being, it's like being a personal concierge uh -huh. for each player, Very much. you know. Yeah, well, what are other things that you do in the stadium for them other, other than, you know, all the responsibilities that you have in the clubhouse? Um, Outside of, you know, just baseball oriented besides doing laundry. You just mentioned and concierge, that's why I yeah, wanted to Yeah, well, on it's, that. it would be like, you know. Um, a player might have a family member coming uh -huh. into town during the game. Naturally, he can't pick them up at I the see. airport. And he says, you know, can someone 
run to the airport and go pick so and so up. Sure. Okay. It's like being uh, a personal assistant. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes uh, they're stranded for a ride. Can you drive me home? Sure. Wow. Uh, sometimes it's uh, I need a couple of tickets. Uh, my family's coming into town, and I, I'd love to go see a Broadway show. Can you help me get tickets to a show? Can wow, you make so. me dinner reservations yeah. at a restaurant? We're gonna, you know, the game's gonna be over at four o'clock, and I'd love to go to you know, a nice steakhouse, uh, can you get me a table? You know. So your job really encompasses the true meaning of a concierge service. Yeah, I mean, you have to know, as soon as they ask for, you know, something that they want, you have to have a go-to guy or uh, have, you know, the knowledge of, you have to have pretty good knowledge of New York City. Joe, tell me know. about the stadium. I want to know about the stadium. How is it different now than it used to be? I mean, you've worked obviously from what I'm for told. Years, yeah, right. from what I'm told, the stadium itself is like 60 percent larger. There's you know six or seven thousand less seats. You said 60. 60 percent larger. The building itself is about 60 wow. percent larger, uh, even though there's six or eight thousand less seats or something like that. Right. Um, you know, naturally, it's it's state of the art uh, mm -hmm. from the screen in center sure. field, which is high definition, to the shape of the clubhouse, to the design internally in the clubhouse. Um, you know, I mean if. But I have to say, though, for an old ballpark, the old stadium, as, as old as it was, right. was in very, very, very good shape. You know, um, could have played there well, still. I'm sure it was probably renovated multiple yeah, times. Yeah, it was renovated the years, in the 70s. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and it, it was in good shape. What but, sort of amenities do the players have now that they didn't have in, in the old ballpark? Um, for one, we have six um, nice flat screen TVs in the clubhouse, which we didn't have. We used to listen to the game on the main floor of the clubhouse. We used to listen to the game on the radio. Wow. Uh, now we have six screens that we can watch the you game from. You didn't across. watch the TVs at all? No, you we didn't. had one screen in the, we had one TV like in the lounge where the players eat, but you can't see that from the main floor of the clubhouse in the old stadium. Now there's six screens, so I that's really nice. Two, I heard there was two floors in the clubhouse, is that, is that true? Or no, uh, no, there's, um, the, the basic difference is, is that everything that the players would use in the old stadium, uh, in the old stadium there were different areas where you had to go to, mm -hmm. like the weight room was down the hallway. The batting cages were way down the hallway. Mm -hmm. um, now all of that has been brought into the clubhouse. I see. The clubhouse is set up where it's a main room, then there's a laundry room, the bathroom area, there's a um, full size like uh, hot tub that the players can sit wow. in. Um, there's what they call a swim X, which is like a, um, it's like a treadmill but mm -hmm. in water so you could swim in place. Do you get to use any of these facilities when they're not there? I mean, I can, but I, I generally don't because they're so busy. Um, uh -huh. And also, they each clubhouse, the home side, the home clubhouse, and the visitors clubhouse, they each have their own weight room, which is different because the old stadium was a common weight room, so the Yankees could only be in there for a certain time, and then because you didn't want to commingle the two teams naturally. Tell um, me, do they miss the old stadium? I mean, is there is there like a nostalgic aspect of I you think know, the some old people because of the history? Do. I uh -huh. think some people do. You know, some of the players that have been there a long time might, you know, they were so comfortable it felt like right. home. You know, for like a guy like Derek Jeter who's been there, sure. you know, since he came up and that's all he knew, you know, that felt like his home. He had that same locker in that old clubhouse for, you know, 14 seasons or so. Right. You know, that's home for him. Sure. Whereas if you were a guy like Mark Teixeira or CeCe Sabathia who's new on the team this year, you know, they didn't know any different from the old stadium. They only, right. they came into the old stadium, but they were in the visiting clubhouse. Right. Now being in the home clubhouse, um, I think they would really love it. You know, I mean, I don't think that there's another clubhouse in the league mm -hmm. that is as state of the art. You know what, Joe, hold that thought. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a short break. Okay. We'll be right back.